So it appears that Facebook again has uh, leaked some information up here, and um, let's see. Let me zoom in on this. Can't even see this thing. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Let's expand this a bit so I can see it. OBS has really gone backwards too and doing a lot of different things. So, some more uh, people's uh, phone numbers and shit has got online. And uh, they don't seem to care. And uh, here's a little shout at Global News and whoever's doing the moderating at Facebook. Okay, so there was a moron who was doing anti vaxxing, anti lockdown, anti, you know, face mask, all, all this shit, right? Now, in previous posts, I said something to the effect of, you know, we should just round all you people up and put you in a stadium and let you infect each other and die. That will solve the problem. Once a couple, and we'll, as soon as one of you gets, uh, you know, sick, and we'll put a live, bunch of live cameras there so that the rest of the stupid people can see exactly, you know, what's going on here. Okay, so that's fine. You can say shit like that. But... If I said, if I was in charge, I'd just shoot you, and then the problem's done with. I guess that's a, a, a violation of, of terms. Because I'm not in charge, it wouldn't happen, but that's the way I feel. I mean, I'm emoting how serious I take this shit, okay? And how, you know, et cetera, okay? So, I get a, a this, I guess my entire Facebook account is... Uh, now shadow band where I can I'm the only person who can see my own posts. <laughs> Just kill the account, you fucking assholes! What a bunch of dickheads! You know, and, and and you know some people have been asking me, why don't you unretire from being that big hacker that you always yak about and everything? And I'm thinking I might. I think I might. Fuck this shit. This world needs some fucking wake up calls. Okay. It needs to know that these tech companies can't bully us around like this, okay? And every time that they, they punk me off and shit like this, there's going to be another leak and another hack that goes down by somebody, and I'll just fucking start reporting them, okay? Until And then YouTube will eventually kill me, and then I'll just have to set up my own website, and then it'll be on my internet service provider to one day kill my account. Eh, I don't care. At least by then, people will know can't do this shit for people, okay? And you want to know how serious it is? This is a fuck, fuckwit down the hallway here. It's got COVID, and and during this whole pandemic, these people travel around all over in this building, seeing each other for whatever fucking nefarious fucking reasons, okay? So, yeah, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you know, cocksuckers. Take a fucking baseball bat and throw them right off the fucking balcony, all right? You won't be worrying about hanging yourself, fucking assholes. Yeah, I'm supposed to go pick up a shirt today that somebody sent to me, in, you know, or that not sent to me, but I bought. And, and I don't know if I should walk out of my apartment because the whole hallway could be infected with fucking disease. Yeah, fucking right, eh? No wonder the mailman doesn't want to deliver here. I wouldn't want to be here either. Fuck. So, yeah, you can go to this link here, and eventually you might find something if you know something, or if you're a little more savvy, you'll know where to get all these people's phone numbers and shit. Give them a call and tell them I sent you and said, smarten the fuck up. Stupid idiots. Put your phone numbers and all your real data on a fucking social media page. Who the fuck does that? No, really. Oh, that would be you people. All right. Not me. <laughs> all right. Go ahead. Give me a call. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> oh, it's fucking hilarious. You know, when my father died, it, it took them a whole fucking day to figure out where I was living, legally, okay, before the police showed up and said, oh, your father died, okay, that just tells you something right there, that's, that's just the way I do things legitimately, if it's that hard for fucking things, right, 
stupid fucking dummies. I mean, I, I have had so much stupid shit happen in the span of three or four days that it outstrips all the last year, right? And I, I you know, you got to put your foot down and say, that's enough of this shit, people. That's enough. No, no. Anyway. Yeah. That's why I haven't been posting very much. It's just like, oh, are you fucking real? Are you fucking for real? Uh, yeah, and then, and then, you know, during this pandemic thing here in Ontario, what's Google do? It's got a Gmail plugin that you can make phone calls out, right? Free of charge. Right? You got enough of the ads of Google and the, everything else to pay for all this shit. So what's Google do? They cut it off. Eight, ten years abusing this thing free of charge. Now I don't have a phone. Okay. Somebody needs to get a hold of me? Go fuck yourself. Come here and take the chance of getting COVID. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, yeah, baby. Sounds like a protectionary shield, isn't it? Yeah. I agree with this guy right here. You think it's fucking still wise to be using social media of any kind? These people don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck about you. You're just fucking money in their bags and their pockets. Somebody at Facebook probably sold that fucking information out. Purposely broke it. I mean... The 50 different ways I know how to hack Windows 10. Hmm. Yeah. Let's discuss that one day. Jesus, I've only been using it for three fucking weeks. Good lord. That's why I <laughs> Jesus. They've gone, it's just it's going downhill, boys and girls. It's going downhill. <laughs> I give it another ten years before it really implodes. You know, you don't gotta worry about no fucking Russians, okay? Russians got better things to fucking do at the moment, okay? You got that Ukraine business to deal with. You just, you just, you just keep thinking that you, you know, keep poking at them, and and then wonder why any of them fucking come at you. And don't ask us, me, my friends, or anyone to help you out because fuck you too, okay? I'm getting sick and tired of being the disrespect, okay? Yeah. 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 This is one one little example. See, see, you knew it started when that stupid moron word cloud started popping up. So many things were being hacked, right? They needed a way to make it sound fuzzy wuzzy for you people, okay? And they could start making up words, and they thought, hey, we're getting away with it. People aren't paying attention. Oh, let's make up more words. And then this SJW stuff started, and it was just more, oh my lord, stuff. Right? The examples of stupidity. Like, you know what the response to uh, 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 my comment that Facebook shadow bans, right, would be, oh, but you're not in charge. I guess we're all glad then, right? That, that would be the response. But no, no, no. Maybe they think I am, and maybe I, I shouldn't be speaking this way because I could become in charge. Oh, that would be awful. First thing I'd have done in this this uh, uh, human malware epidemic, pandemic, whatever, was I would have just said, nobody's allowed to leave the residence. We're going to have the military break out the hazmat suits and bring everybody food and any necessities that they need. When they come to the door or your apartment, you can request certain items. And if they're on a list, um, you know, or you need extra things, you sign off on it. And there you go. We'd have been done with this in three weeks, four weeks. That's it. Then when these variants come, we would do another month, and that's it. So you'd have had two months out of the last 14 being locked down. And I mean locked down. I'm just, not, I don't even call this a lockdown. There's nobody stopping me from going out there in the world. I'm not locked anywhere. You know. 
And go and, and here's the kicker, eh? What's the sense of giving poor people an eighteen hundred dollar fine when they break this quarantine thing? They're not gonna pay it anyway. What are you gonna do? Oh I know, you'll take it off their checks so that they're even more poor, which will cause them to think about more things like crime. Good well, good job, boys. What you should do is lock them up in the prison. None of this none of this fine shit. Throw them right in jail. I'm scared to piss out of them, most of them. Anyway, so yeah. Anyway, so the article, you know, I'll post a link to it, you know. And just 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 think about this as everywhere you sign in, you're you're gonna have this happen. It's not a question of if, okay? It's when. So if you go to use your fucking phone, your real name, or a credit card, you're stupid. Okay? The whole point of electronic commerce is trust. And these people here at Facebook have consistently shown lack of trust. Okay? I mean, they spent the first two years trying to find out my real name, where I live, everything else. And then they just gave up because it started, the, the, it's just spying, right? And I stopped using Facebook altogether, right? It was just a joke, right? Never sign up using your real name to anything. Make it up, make up a name. At least then, you know, you can you can always turn back and say, well, that's not me. <laughs> anyway. Twitch is uh, spying on users, so I just removed all my Twitch followings and just left Twitch. Okay. So that's Twitch and Facebook gone. Twitter's gone to me. These, these places are all you people and you and your whatever stuff anyway, right? I existed before these things and had fun and was able to do things and I don't need YouTube either, right? I do the what you see on YouTube is me having some fun and doing things and stuff I like. That's that's really what this this whole account's about, right? And that you guys find some enjoyment in it, that's cool too. Right, but you know gotta be realistic, you know. They don't like me. I'm a free thinker. I don't I don't attribute my thoughts to their wallets, say, eh? all day, and making them money all day. Okay, if I'm gonna make money, I'll make it myself. I, I mean, I, I've told people that have been canceled for stupid shit. I says, you know, if I found enough of you people, I could set up an OVH server, and for a hundred bucks a month, right, and just have a hundred of you give me a dollar, and you, you just be able to carry on like you were, right? And if something like that catches on, I get another server. And another server. And the last time I did that, in two months, suddenly I got 80 servers that I'm serving up for other clients. Okay? I mean, shit. Uh, it's that simple. It, for you guys, it's it's a lot of work on my end to get set up, right? To bring it back into Linux or whatever you're doing. The security end of it. Actually making it secure by fucking checking out the backdoor keys that they use in the SSH thing and then resetting it so that my key uh, or uh, the key that I put there is only known by you so if you get you get whacked that server gets whacked well we just delete it and whatever so you also make a backup there you go and that way you know, if they get compromised at the, at the main thing, you don't get screwed. You just carry right on. You see, this is this is part of the decentralization of brain cells that's gone on here, and it's just way too fucking long, right? So anyway, uh, I'm gonna put this video up. We'll see how it goes through the check phase and all this other stupid shit. Because as soon as YouTube decides, well, now we're going to put in a filter that says, we don't want this guy to talk. I mean, put it in there, and 
anything you do just gets turned down. You're done. That's how they do it. That's how they'll do it. You know, <laughs> don't need to give them that idea. They're, that's why they're doing it. The next phase will be, you know, the next election that comes up in that stupid American country will be them fucking around with everybody. It's why they're, they're just, they're just, it's not the Russians you gotta worry about. It's those people. It's Hollywood. And nobody got that. But you can't, you know, you got two parties that are all bent over to them down there. And the one up here in Canada, the ones up here, okay, you got Trudeau, who's, who's Mr. Hollywood here. And then you got uh, the NDP, who's hanging out with a, a, a AOC person there, who's wing nut. And you got the conservative party. It just, it just, it's just a wannabe Republican party. We don't have any parties up here in Canada. We're just floating around with everyone else. It's all bought and paid for. Until that changes, nothing on this earth will get any better. And in fact, it'll probably get to the point where some serious violence eventually starts with people. And, and you know what, I, when I hear about things like that, people getting upset and everything else, I go, well, well, do something about it. Just stand there with a fucking sign going, hey. Well, people do, people don't. People lose their minds. And, and all this stuff that they are doing is forcing more people to go nuts. Okay? Not the lockdowns, everybody. Not the lockdowns. Now you see what this is forced to happen is when you're at home so much, now you get to see what these tech assholes are up to. Okay? I don't give a shit left, right, center, up, down, around the fucking corner for politics yet. I get become Mr. Victimized, right? Because I don't, I, I really don't believe that there should be a 95 year copyright in the US and 75 in Canada. Who the fuck needs to be that goddamn lazy? Only a corporation. That's right. They need to have control, you see. They'd copyright the letters of the alphabet if they could fucking get away with it. Anyway. I haven't gone live since this pandemic started, and I don't think I ever will again. So. You know, I just don't feel I want to sit around for four hours doing one thing, right? If I get sick from this fucking thing, I already I have a I had a chlorine exposure where I breathed in chlorine for four hours because some bad cops arrested me after they told me that they knew I wasn't there to have done something that of course I didn't do, right? So yeah. And they're covering their asses in the government, so they give me disability, right? Wouldn't want to address the fucking problem there, would you? Fucking assholes. Anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, if I end up getting it, I'm, I'm one of those types of people that's, that, that, could, could, that could die from this shit. So, I take this shit a little more serious than the rest of you morons. So... You know, when you start acting goofy around me, I'm going to fucking slap you down hard, okay? Hard. And if, and if these tech companies don't like that, maybe they should just turn off everything this one that's talking about, okay? Let's have no information about this at all. Let's have all the anti-maskers and anti-vaxxers and everything else the only ones that can speak, okay? Because that's what will happen. And then you're going to see some shit. These people will start a fucking protest. And then some of us will go down there with some fucking baseball bats and fucking smash them. Fuck this shit. Okay? I'm done being nice about it because it, being nice about it doesn't seem to do, do anything. Okay? Nothing. Not a fucking thing. When you start getting mean and ugly about it, that's when shit starts to change. That's because then they start to realize, look, this isn't working. We need to fucking lighten up a little bit here or, you know, whatever. Okay? It's the truth, man. You can look through all of history if they don't censor it. Okay? 
As soon as people got mean and ugly and bitchy about things, shit changes. Okay? You don't like all this SJW politics and everything else? Start being mean about it. Okay? I'll just, you know, whatever. I don't give a shit if you think you're a pet rock. I don't care, right? You're just trying to grab attention that is not needed, okay? I don't care if you're, you're spatial sexual, okay? What, what you are and what you do behind closed doors is your fucking business, okay? You can't have it both ways either, right? You know? Anyway. Uh, yeah, so. <sighs> so, yeah, I mean, there's comments in here and shit like that. Oops. I'm grabbing this thing. But anyway, uh, yeah. Um, let you guys go. And I, I don't know. I'll, I'll do some more game videos. I'll, I'll figure something out. I got to go to the bank in order to find out how much money is in my account so I can see if I might grab something up or do something. I don't know. It's kind of stuck at home. I, I'm not leaving the house for at least three or four days here, like this apartment. I've been here already for three weeks. Two out of the last three weeks, I've been out of the house once. Or a month, even, I'll say. Right? Now, this is where, you know, you gotta fucking put, put down on your roommate and say, listen, buddy, you go down that hallway and you get that shit and you bring it back to me and I get sick. It's not me that's fucking got me sick. Right? It's you by going down the hallway. So I said, stay around here for at least three days, four days, and don't go nowhere. Okay, yeah, I said, you got lots of games, you got lots of movies. Sit down, you got a telephone, you can talk to your wife and you can talk to your, uh, uh, you know, your worker and friends and whatever. Just don't fucking go nowhere. Okay, okay. Yeah. Got him into Warframe. Loving that game. It's a little different on the PlayStation 4, but still. You know. And eventually I'll get that linked up. You know. Uh, uh, sleeping badly too, of course. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> <coughs> And I've never seen Peterborough, where I live, this foggy, this late in the day. I can't see more than 10 feet out the window here. I've finally been able to see a little bit, but, yeah. That's just special. Isn't it? It's just special. Anyway. Okay, guys. I'll see you guys later.